us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 science paper one. So in the previous episode, we covered the equation two extensively. So let us look at question B3. Figure B3.1 shows a device used to measure temperature. Question A, define thermal expansion. So basically just uh, to state what it is. So basically when you're talking about a thermal expansion, what are we talking about? So basically uh, we are just uh, referring to uh, the process in which uh, a substance expands due to an increase in temperature. That's what we uh, mean when we talk about it, thermal expansion. So an object is expanding because there is a change in temperature. And that change is the increase. Question A B, Loma numero 1, identify the parts labeled E and F. So in this case, we are required to basically identify these two parts. But again, it's important that you are able to label all the parts of the thermometer. So this is the thermometer. If you look at F, F is basically the constriction. So uh, basically the purpose of this construction is to um, prevent uh, the uh, backflow of uh, the liquid in the uh, thermometer. Then uh, basically we have uh, E itself, which is uh, this component that we are seeing there. So this is, is nothing but uh, mercury in uh, this uh, thermometer, which is uh, the liquid used in E. Um, this uh, thermometer. Then uh, we have, of course, uh, this O part, which is uh, the mercury bulb. Okay, remember F is uh, basically this is a liquid called a mercury liquid. Then the other part that you need to know is uh, all this part is known as uh, the stem. Okay, just in case you ask the question to label. Uh, the thermometer. Then you have got, of course, this is uh, basically the glass tube. Then you have now this part, which is known as the capillary a tube. Then this part, which you are seeing the white part here, which is remaining in this part, is known as uh, the expansion chamber which is uh, the loom left for uh, this uh, liquid to expand. In this case, this liquid most likely is uh, mercury. But also, in place of mercury, you can use uh, alcohol. Then, uh, if you look at uh, Loman numero 2 of beam, name a liquid that can be used in the device shown in figure B3.1. So, uh, the liquid that can be used in this case is uh, mercury. So you can either use a mercury or alcohol, but mostly mercury is used. Then Loma numero three of beam mentioned one way in which the sensitivity of the device shown in figure B three point one can be improved. So I'll give you a two. The first one is basically what you can do is you uh, can decrease the diameter of uh, this uh, capillary tube. So this capillary tube, you uh, reduce the diameter. Once you reduce the diameter, basically it's um, going to improve uh, the expansion. So what is going to happen? For a one degree temperature rise, the same volume of uh, liquid will need to rise higher because the diameter is small. So by doing that, uh, it's going to improve the sensitivity of uh, the thermometer. So the answer here is by decreasing the diameter of the capillary tube. 
That's uh, the first answer. Then uh, the second answer that you can give in this case, um, the second option that you can give is uh, we can use uh, alcohol. So by using alcohol as liquid instead of um, mercury. This is uh, because alcohol expands more uh, than mercury for the same temperature. So because alcohol has a lower boiling point, so for the same temperature it's going to expand more than mercury. So basically uh, this is uh, how you answer question B3 uh, to get uh, these uh, five marks. So please uh, join me in the next episode as I look at question B4. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got uh, so much content. So we've got uh, mathematics uh, based uh, revision questions, we've got uh, physics, we've got uh, chemistry, then we've got also topic based uh, section for all the subjects. And this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.